Today I will talk about one of my favorite stocks. Um, you, you all know this, it's called Tesla. So let's look at uh, Tesla and um, see what we can do. Um, in Tesla, if you can see here, I got a couple of earning states. There's a 129, which is January 29, there's earning. Let's go to think of him on demand. Um, and because earnings is on 129, we want to sell a straddle or buy a straddle actually a month before the earning so that will put us to uh, December um, 20th or so 19 uh, 2019 so let's go to December 2019 and buy a straddle so all the way back to December 2019 let's uh, choose 23rd which is about a month before earnings and it's buffering, let's give it a minute. Go to trade tab, go to Tesla here. And you know, typically when we are buying straddle, we want to give enough time to get right. So what we'll do is we'll choose 144 days to expiration. And on um, 23rd of December, 1919, Tesla stock is around 418. So let's go all the way back to 418, uh, which is 420 is the closest. Let's take this and let's buy a straddle. And this costs around $100 um, and um, it's $10,000, which is the buying power effect also. Let's uh, send it. So one of the reasons we are buying straddle is we don't know about Tesla. Tesla can go up a lot, go down a lot. One thing we all know is Tesla won't stay quiet. If Tesla stays same price, then you know we will lose on the straddle. Next, what we'll do is we'll go to the next earning state here, which is 429, April 29. So we'll go one month before the earnings, which is about 320 or so. Let's go back to on demand here, go to 320. And let's uh, give it a minute uh, for it to um, buffer. And price here is about uh, uh, 418 as you can see here. I think that's uh, still buffering. Let's give it again a minute. And we would go about um, 100 days or so which will put us to uh, 17 July. And 446 is the price, uh, so we'll go all the way to 446 or so. Four forty five is the closest. Let's uh, buy a straddle here. Two hundred twenty twenty two thousand dollars send and next earnings is seven twenty two we'll go a month before which is uh, six twenty or so um, six nineteen um, let's take that and let's give it a minute for the buffer. And we want to, again, give it uh, some time to get it right. So we'll go all the way to um, October here, 119 days or so. Let us buffer. And stock price is around $1,006. We'll go all the way down here. Uh, 1000 is close or 1010 is close. Let's uh, buy a straddle here. It's around $31,000. Send it. And for the last one, uh, 1021, so October 21st, so we'll go to September 20th or so and buy one more straddle. September 18th, 
Let's take that. And we have to give enough time to get right. So we'll go all the way to um, 119 days here, January. Give it a minute for it to buffer. Okay, now the price is 445. So we'll take uh, around 445 here. Uh, we got 440 and 450. Um, let's take 450 here and buy a straddle. $220,000. Send it. Okay, we are done with buying all these travels. Now, what we'll do is we'll see how we did on these travels. Um, starting from the first one, 129 earning. We'll go a couple, uh, maybe a month after the earnings. We'll go to February or March and see how we did. Um, let's go to March. Say 19th. Okay. So the one we bought um, earlier, um, if you see here, we got a July expiration, January expiration, which is Jan 21. We got a May expiration and October expiration. So the earliest one is May expiration, um, which which has done pretty well, eight thousand dollars so far. Um, the beauty of this is we don't know whether the stock will go up or down, so that's why we buy straddles especially the very volatile stock like Tesla. And now, you know, if I, if I go all the way uh, to uh, March, sorry, April 29th, uh, let's go to May, uh, just to give a month more. If I go to May, um, say May 20th or 21st, Let it buffer a little bit. Now if you look at our um, October, we got October 20 expiration that also did very well. And our May expiration, which is May 15th, that did extremely well. Um, now let's go um, one more um, earnings, which is 7.22. For this, we'll go a month later, which is, uh, say, 8.20 or so. Which is August 20. Select that. It's buffering. Okay, so we looked at um, May expiration, we looked at July expiration, uh, which is again making $15,000, October expiration is making uh, $75,000. Now let's go to the last one, which is 1021. Um, we'll go month after, which is uh, 1121, which is November 21. Choose number 20, close enough. And buffering. Okay. 
give it a quick minute all right so if you see here this is the last earnings that we took um, which in this case this straddle um, this straddle Actually, at this time, it lost some money, which is which is okay because overall we made a ninety thousand dollar profit, um, which which is a good um, strategy. And going back to chart, just to sum it up, <clears throat> what we did is we we have we took uh, we bought straddles on this earning here, and over here, and here, and here, and. Tesla in this case went all the way up, but we don't know whether it will go up or down. That's why we bought a straddle just to make sure we protect ourselves on both upper side and lower side the risks. So with that, you know, this panned out very well. Uh, overall, we made a good profit with those straddles, with the exception of uh, last one, which you know we don't know whether it will go up or down. So we. Did Pretty good. Hope this explains the straddles. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, put it in the comments. Thank you very much.